The recolor idea, the main reason behind it is um, CP companies love of colors, uh, the way they use colors. Uh, this is the reason why we do so much garment dyeing, because it allows us to play with color. And so the recolor process is, is just a further step uh, in this idea. The recolor label refers to a two-step garment dyeing process. So first, the, the garment is dyed quite simply to begin with, in a, in a single color, using an acid dye if we're talking about synthetic fabrics or reactive or direct dyes if we're talking natural fabrics. The second step is a recolor using a pigment dye. Uh, pigment dyes have the, um, tend to wrap around the fibers rather than actually going inside the fibers and dyeing. They paint them in a way. So they don't mix with the, with the original base color. And they, they just lay on top of it. And they, the way they work, they tend to to lay or end up on the most accessible areas uh, of, of the garment. So the result is this tone-on-tone -tone effect, uh, which is not totally different to the way denim is consumed uh, in areas of greater use. Uh, it's left intact in zones of, of, of little attrition. Or the same way dust and dirt are deposited on a, on a race car, in a dry race. The way the dust um, and dirt builds up mirrors perfectly the way the car is moving through the air. Hardcore fans of Italian sportswear will maybe remember CP Company's Tinto Terra series from the late 90s, which although was limited to just local earth pigments at the time, uh, opened the door to um, the pigment dyeing process, uh, of which uh, the Recolor series is just another step forward.